put this in my mouth? Oh god. <laughs> Dipping my brush into it. Oh, my brush doesn't fit. Oh god, this is harder than it looks, you know. Moment of truth. Didn't really work that great. I don't have much hope for this. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I have seen and been sent some ridiculous TikTok hacks over the past couple of weeks. One of them literally involves putting tape in my mouth, which I replied back to a few of those comments like, I am not doing that because the idea of that in itself just cringes me out. But here I am doing it today just so you don't have to. I am so debating whether or not I go back blonde. Well, I mean, obviously I'm still blonde, like blonde blonde. <laughs> when I watch back some of my older videos, I kind of miss the blonde hair. Maybe I'll do it for summer and then go back to this in winter because this wasn't too difficult. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just get into the TikTok hacks. As you might be able to tell, my foundation is already done. I used this, which is the Revolution Conceal and Glow Foundation in the shade F5. Haven't used this in a while. And then I saw somebody on TikTok talk about it, saying that it was a dupe for the NARS Radiant Longwear, which is my favorite foundation of all time. I wouldn't say this is a dupe for it. The NARS one is way better, but this is still a nice foundation, so I thought I'd just chuck it on. Makeup hack number one is a concealer hack, and this is from a user called Carla Kazemi. Carla Kazemi. And let's just watch it together. After applying your concealer like this, let it dry for two to three minutes. Blend it in, grab your setting spray, then go over it until it's all dry. Powder, gently press. There you have it, crease this concealer. Okay, I think that this could work really well actually, because no matter what concealer I wear, I do find that by the end of the day or after a few hours, it does settle a little bit into the creases under my eyes. However, usually when I've got mascara on and stuff, my lashes kind of cover where the creases are. Let me just zoom you in even more. Oh, you can actually kind of see an example where I haven't powdered my foundation yet. You can kind of see where the creases are on my under eyes just because of where my foundation sort of like settled as I haven't powdered it yet. So I get little creases like directly there like right along my lash line and then another one sort of here oh i wonder if this will work on the eyelids as well because i often find that my concealer will crease in my eyelids even when i blend it and set it straight away and i'm actually going to try it on one eye and then leave the other eye without doing this hack to see if there's any difference by the end of the video and i'm going to use the rimmel lasting radiance concealer in ivory just because this one's kind of glowy quite liquidy has potential to crease so she puts it on kind of like this and then up here. And then she says to leave it to set for like two minutes. So I'm gonna do just that. And interestingly, she blends it out with her finger. I used to blend my concealer with my fingers all the time. So I'm actually gonna do that today. In the meantime, let's just put concealer on the rest of my face because I don't need to let that dry for two minutes. Put some on my nose on my blemishes. I actually haven't used this concealer in ages. I just need to not forget and accidentally blend out my under eyes. I feel like that is something I would definitely do. <laughs> my skin is quite dry at the moment. I've got a couple dry patches and this foundation is actually doing a really good job of kind of disguising them. Okay, so it's been a good few minutes now. I think it's oxidized. Is it oxidized? So I'm going to just blend out the concealer with my finger. Oh, did I leave it to dry a bit too long? That actually really helps with the coverage, by the way. That's a little hack in itself to leave your concealer to sort of dry before you blend it in. Oh, I do have a bit of dry skin under my eyes, so it's a little bit flaky under... Oh, crap. Yeah, I left it for too long. It's a little bit flaky under there, which does not help. But this has done a pretty good job at brightening. Okay, so this is the fun bit. She then takes this, which I think she's using the NYX Bear With Me setting spray. And then she dips her finger into it and then uses this to tap under her eyes. I'm just going to do it on my left eye. Ooh, it's all kind of dripping down my face. I didn't want to do that. I feel like it's disturbing the concealer a little bit, to be honest. Oh no, the concealer's just coming off. <laughs> okay, let me try and wait for this to dry. Okay, if anything, that has just taken off the concealer that was in the creases under my eyes. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I've managed to sort of fix it, I think, by just like swiping a little bit and blending that concealer in a bit more. Okay, cool. And then she takes her powder straight away and she sets underneath. Oh Lord, I've got some dry skin that's like peeling off my under eyes. That's really great. So let me just wipe that setting spray off my hand. On this eye, I'm just gonna blend the concealer again and then set with powder just without the setting spray technique. This side definitely looks smoother at the moment. Mm, I think I might have lost some of the coverage there with that setting spray because the setting spray kind of started to break down the concealer. But you know what? I'm going to try it on my lid as well. She didn't do this, but this could potentially be a game changer. So let's take the setting spray. Let's take a little bit less this time so it's not dripping all over my face. And I'm just going to pat that onto my eyelid. It will set to my eyelid. And then on this eye, I'm just going to blend in that concealer and then just set straight away. 
So this is what it looks like at the moment. We'll see how that one holds up. The next makeup hack is the one that got 30 million views or something. And this is by a user called Serena, Serena La K Kiss. Serena Lakis. I don't know. She takes a bit of tape and she puts it in her mouth and uses it to guide her contour. Even my best friend Ellie sent me this on Instagram and was like, you need to try this. And I was like, absolutely not. I'm not putting tape in my mouth. But here we are today. I don't know, just the whole idea of it just really cringed me out. I don't know whether it's because she was using that matte sort of sellotape or scotch tape or whatever it is. I don't know. What's the brand that does the like matte stuff? I am just using a regular shiny sellotape because we don't have any of the other stuff. I mean, same thing, right? And I'm guessing this is so that you can get it sort of even, but I uh, just think that this is so unnecessary. There's a dog hair stuck in it now. Oh God, what have I done? Okay, let's just try and take off some of the stickiness before I just stick it onto my face. Isn't this just gonna peel off half my foundation? That's why I'm trying to get rid of some of the stickiness. Okay, there we go. I don't wanna put this in my mouth. I feel like it's gonna cut my lips up. No! Hang on, it's getting stuck to her hair. Oh, she got the hair out the way. Oh, God. <laughs> for fuck's sake, the things I do for the internet. No. 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 This is the worst thing I've ever done. I can't eat one sec. <laughs> one sec. Okay. Oh, I literally dribbled everywhere <laughs> i hated every second of that and i hope you're happy what was the need like what was the need i could have just easily drawn that line ridiculous yeah i don't think they look any more even than normal but i'm gonna blend it anyway and it has taken off like a big stripe of my, my foundation <laughs> hang on did she blend it with the tape on i feel like she did don't tell me i'm gonna have to put that back on my face oh shit she blended it with the tape on <laughs> Okay, okay, we'll do it with the video. Rounding it up. <laughs> mm hmm, mm hmm. I don't mean to be rude if you do like to wear your contour like this, but does anyone really want to wear their contour in such like a straight, harsh line? Because I'm not sure that they do. And I want to blend this even more. And I feel like I need to put foundation. Honestly, this hack is not for me. It's not for me. I just don't get the point in it. <laughs> I think it was just one of those kind of like clickbaity things, which fair enough, absolutely fair enough. Like get your coin. But I just think all it's done is give me a very harsh contour line that I want to blend out more and removed half my foundation from my face. So I'm going to go back in with more contour and more foundation and then we will bake underneath like she did. By the way, this is the Kiko contour stick in 200. Blend out the nose. I love how I was so desperate to take it off that I just took it off before I'd even blended it. <laughs> that was the point of the whole contour hack. I mean, if it works for you, then great, but that one is not for me. Like a lot of these makeup hacks, actually, a lot of the time they're just kind of unnecessary things that are mostly probably done for views. But like I said, if that is the case, then fine. I'm gonna do my blush. And for this, I have another hack. Surprisingly, <laughs> you'd never have guessed. This was actually from the Rare Beauty Instagram account, but I'm pretty sure this has been a makeup artist trick for years. Hi, I'm Cynthia DeMeo, and I'm looking to be Rare Beauty's next pro artist. And I'm gonna show you how you can apply blush with no tools. So first you grab your soft pinch liquid blush, you apply it onto the palm of your hand. Then you simply blend it out with your second palm and tap. The easiest way to apply blush with no tools. Okay, that just seems like the easiest thing in the world. I'm pretty sure I've seen like a lot of other makeup artists do this trick in the past. So I've got the Rare Beauty liquid blush in the shade Love. This one is a little bit dark, so I just need a little bit of it, but I thought this one would make a nice change from the other shade that I've got. So she puts a little bit here and I'm just gonna put a tiny dot because this is so pigmented. And then you just sort of rub it together like this like blend it on the sort of like fatty pad bits of your hands like that and then oh i can't see what i'm doing though i literally can't see what i'm doing is this doing anything your hands kind of get in the way <laughs> oh wait am i supposed to do like opposite hand maybe i am oh okay yeah definitely easier to do it sort of like the opposite way around so you can see what you're doing I need a bit more. You know what's really weird? As you're applying it, it kind of sounds like you're using a beauty blender. It's got the same sort of feeling. I know that you're supposed to do it like this. So, okay, I guess we will just do it like that a bit, but you can't really see what you're... Oh, just go in with the opposite side and blend. 
Okay, that time I put on too much. <laughs> and then she sort of like took her fingers and blended it a bit. Yeah, it really works. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting to happen. It's quite obvious that that would work, but it actually works a lot nicer than I thought it would. I still probably would use a brush because then you end up with makeup all over your hands. But when don't I end up with makeup all over my hands? Let's be real. I do feel though, like it has taken off a little bit of the coverage of my foundation because I ended up with quite a lot of foundation actually on my hands. Whereas I guess when you blend it with a brush that's got the rest of your products in, it kind of like blends it in a bit more seamlessly together. But that definitely does work. I am just gonna set the rest of my face and then I'm gonna do my brows and then I will be back for the next makeup hack. So I have powdered my face. I added a little bit more bronzer. I just used the Kiko one. And I added a bit of the Nabla highlighter in Ozone. Oh, and on my brows, I used the Authored Brow Gel in the shade mid brown and I used the Charlotte Tilbury brow pencil brow cheat in natural brown. The next hack is for eyeliner so I'm actually going to just zoom you in a little bit and by a little bit I mean all the way into my face. This one is kind of smart. It's from a user called Hayley Buicks. Buicks? Hayley Bui X Bui I don't know, it'll be on the screen. And she is taking a concealer to map out the shape of her eyeliner. She then stamps a bit of plastic on top of it, flips it around, traces the same pattern onto the same eye, same eye, the other eye, stamps it on again, and then adds her actual liner. So she uses it as an eyeliner sort of stencil to get her eyeliner symmetrical, which is pretty genius. And I'm gonna give this a try. Although I'm a little bit sus of this video because I feel like her eyeliner shape on the bit of plastic looks completely completely different and she just just kind of like holds it above her eye at the end and it's just like ta-da I don't know I don't know so I've just taken one of these sheets that came in an eyeshadow palette and cut off like a little rectangle of it so I'm gonna take the Too Faced concealer to do this in the shade snow just because this is quite light so I should hopefully be able to see where this is going so let's try it on this eye let's do this one like that, just a classic wing. And I guess you could do this any shape that you sort of wanted. Just pressing that down quite hard. And it has printed it onto this side. It looks a bit smushed, but it has worked. I flipped it round. I then am gonna retrace the design on the other side as best I can. We have retraced it on the other side. Let me just wipe off this side so that I don't get confused. Okay, no, that's not worked, has it? <laughs> God. And then I'm gonna take this, line it up. Oh God, this is harder than it looks, you know? Yeah, there's no way she did this in one attempt. That didn't quite go to plan. It's sort of smudged everywhere and smushed as I put it on and it's still not particularly <laughs> even. I think I could have got it more even if I was just looking I mean, I guess it, it kind of works. It does work to sort of transfer the same shape, but I think I put a bit too much concealer on and also as you're pressing it on, you need to stay really still, otherwise it sort of smudges everywhere. It kind of worked, but I now need to actually do my eyeliner. So what I'm gonna do is just pat over this slightly so that it's not super wet because I don't want it to mix with my eyeliner. Okay, so I can just about still see it on both sides. And for the eyeliner, this one I'm very skeptical about and this is to dip a brush into some micellar water Water, mix it with an eyeshadow and supposedly it makes the eyeshadow into a graphic liner. My thoughts on this though, I'm like surely the micellar water is not gonna make a liner last very long because you literally use it to remove makeup, but we'll see, we'll see. So I heard from my friend of a friend, if you take some micellar water and you dip it into an eyeshadow, you can make like any color graphic liner. If this works, if this works, I'm gonna be so excited. Taking some of this micellar water, I'm gonna take it like in the corner like this. I'm literally making watercolors. Ah! <laughs> Ready? Okay, let's see. Okay, let me put lashes on and then the final look. What do we think? It actually looks really good on her, so let's try it. And this is from a user called Monet McMichael. So I'm taking the Beauty Bay EYN Bright Palette. Just because there's loads of bright colors in here to choose from, I'm gonna try one matte and one shimmer. I'm gonna take the shade Pacific Greens, Greens? Pacific Dreams and Lagoon. I'm gonna take both of these and maybe I'll do like a shimmer on one of them and the matte on the other. So I'm just using the Garnier Micellar Water, dipping my brush into it. Oh, my brush doesn't fit. I'm gonna have to tip it. Do it just like right in the corner. Oh, there's still a bit of white on my brush apparently from the concealer. Okay. I think I need a bit more liquid because it's a bit pasty. Let me just pour some of this. Right, moment of truth. Oh my God. This is working really well. 
And I'm just going over where I had that concealer. Okay, it's a little bit watery and I did mess it up a little bit. But I guess the best thing about this is if it's a little bit less pigmented than you want it to be, you can just sort of like set it with some of the actual powder eyeshadow. Well, it's definitely working. Oh no, I didn't retrace that side very well. It's a little bit patchy in some places. Oh shit, and it has kind of bled into my creases there. But if you want an easy, colorful liner and you don't have the shade that you want, this definitely works. But I definitely need to clean that up with some concealer. <laughs> Yeah, no, this is not my best work. But the point is, it works. It works. Let's try it with the shimmer now, because I'm intrigued by this. The micellar water is literally drying up straight away as soon as it hits the shimmer eyeshadow. How weird. Yeah, it's not really working for the shimmer. It kind of is. It's just not working anywhere near as well. Also, that is not in the right place. <laughs> The shimmer is working, it's just nowhere near as strongly pigmented as the other one. For some reason, the liquid is drying up a lot quicker in the shimmer in the pan, and it's gone a lot more lumpy. This is really bugging me, because that is not in the right shape. That's where the concealer printed, but it's not equal to this side. I'm actually just going to go over this with the regular blue, but I'm going to try and wipe this off, because that's not working for me. Oh shit, I had powder all over this, and I've just set it into place. So the micellar water hack works a lot better with matte eyeshadows and I would say the other concealer hack with like the whole stampy thing didn't really work that great because even though you're printing it from one side to the other you still have to get it at the right angle and that is quite difficult and like the exact same like distance away from like the edge of your lashes so it's quite hard actually. This is how the liner turned out, pretty cool actually. I'm just gonna put some mascara and then I'll be right back for the final makeup hack of this video. So the final makeup hack, this one's actually been around for a while. This is by a user called Jochen Ziep, Jochen Ken Yoken Zeep? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. It's Yo Kenzie B. I've just clicked on her profile and her name is Kenzie B. Yo Kenzie B. And I was just calling her Yoken Zeep. This is her makeup hack. I have a little tip for the girly. So if you want to hear a tip, keep watching. Your perfect lip shade will be your eyebrow liner, your eyebrow pencil lining your lip and then whatever you use for blush on the middle of your lip. And then a gloss. It will always be the perfect lip shade. I love her, she's great. My eyebrow color, my blush, I'm gonna use the same ones that I used today. And then for gloss, I'm gonna use this one, which is the Kiko 3 Hydra Lip Gloss. Lip Gloss in 03. Oh wait, 3D Hydra Lip Gloss. Why did I just say three? <laughs> this will be my lip combo. Don't know how this is gonna go, because this eyebrow pencil is quite dark. Oh god, yeah, it's really like grey almost. Oh my god, I've just noticed I never got the mascara off my nose. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and like blend this in a little bit. Oh my god, this reminds me of MAC Stone. Do you remember when everyone was obsessed with that lipstick? It was like a brown grey. I don't have much hope for this, but we'll put the blush on next. So I'm just gonna take a little blob of this in the middle and then blend it in. I mean, this colour looks pretty nice on the lips. I'm just not sure about the dark around the edges. I'm gonna try and see if I can sort of go over it. There we go, and then finally we'll take the gloss. You know what? All together, not too bad, but I think the eyebrow pencil is just a little bit dark around the edges. Maybe I just need to take a brush and sort of blend them in together a bit more, but it's not bad. And there we go, those are all the makeup hacks. I'm just gonna around the edges of it with my finger. There we go. So those are all of the makeup hacks that I was going to try today. Some kind of useful ones and some ridiculous ones. My favourite one is probably the liner hack, which you probably could just use water for, like thinking about it. Either that one or the blush one. I really liked that. And just before we leave, let me just have a quick inspection of my concealer under my eyes and on my eyelids. You know what, guys? Both sides actually look about the same. But one thing that I actually think did make a difference is blending my concealer in with my finger because I feel like it sort of melted the concealer under my eyes a lot nicer. But yeah, they both look the same in terms of creasing actually. But I think I would actually do that again. I think it's quite a good idea to maybe make your makeup last longer all day. But yeah, if we just look at my eyes right now, my lids, they both look about the same, I reckon. 
in terms of the creasing. Right, I'm gonna end this here. Please let me know if there are any other makeup hacks that you want me to test down below. Let me know what you think I should do with my hair. I'd love your opinions because I don't know, I just can't decide. I will leave everything that I linked down below in the description box. I hope you guys are doing good and I will see you in my next video. Bye.